Hilton Towers is the biggest theme park in the UK and it most certainly has one of the top roller coaster lineups in the country. But with it being situated in the place that it is, in the middle of nowhere, they can't expand outwards to make more rides and attractions as much as they would like to. Unless, of course, they want to deforest 300 acres of trees. So to build more rides and roller coasters, they're surely going to have to remove some of the ones they have now as they've done in the past. You of course had the corkscrew that was removed to make way for the scary woods coaster with drop track, sorry for the spoiler, and the black hole was removed to make way somehow for a 14 looping roller coaster. Only Alton Towers could remove a tent and replace it with that mess. However, my question today is what roller coaster will be removed next? As sad as it would be to see some of these go, I think we have to expect it because uh, they're not gonna stick around forever. Unless of course Rita does close and then the phalanx start investigating that and oh, it's retract time. But it's time to speculate about what coaster could go next. And if you do go on to enjoy this video and you want to see more just like this, then please be sure to subscribe to the channel. We're edging closer and closer to 50,000 subscribers. That's crazy. Thank you so much for the support. So if you want to help us out, be sure to subscribe. It'd be greatly appreciated. So what ride will be removed next? Well, obviously, Alton Towers do like to throw a bit of a surprise in there every so often with new rides. We never know they're coming. Obviously, next year, we've got the rebirth of Nemesis that's being completely retracked, which, if you ask someone three years ago, wouldn't have been on anyone's bingo card. And then the year after, in 2025, they're of course opening Project Horizon, which so far is just a warehouse, and it's not even in writing that it's a roller coaster yet. But we're still going to believe it is. So I wouldn't expect the next coaster to be removed to be very predictable, because Alton Towers is very unpredictable. I think this topic is very interesting, you know, so uh, without further ado, it's speculation time. Time, 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 time. Are you going to play the intro? No, oh, forget it. Next time I'll play it, I'm sorry. Now I think it's best and easiest if we start with the obvious coasters that are probably going to stay. And out of all of them, the one that I most likely think is going to stay forever is of course the one and only, the staple signature of the park, Octonauts. It's not going anywhere. Now he's just won the annual award for the best joke. It's going to stay for sure. Now, the literal answers other than my awarding comedy are, of course, Wicker Man, which is their wooden roller coaster that they opened five years ago. They're not just going to destroy a ride that they made that soon. I'm also going to say 13 as well. You know, I quite like 13. I think it's a very flowy ride. It's also got the drop track in there. I spoiled it again. And then on top of that, an even easier one is Nemesis because, well, they're retracking it now. So it's not going anywhere. Unless they decide, you know what, we've opened the retrack only for a year. Bye bye. But other than those three, there are still a lot of coasters to go through. Of course, I don't think that every single one of them is going to get removed. I just want to make more points than just no, not happening. But I'll go more in depth on the ones I do think will be removed. And there is something telling me that one of the ones I think is going to, I'm going to get shot for. So let's work our way through the park from back to front or back corner to front. Cool. Let's head to X Sector first. Oblivion and the Smiler. What do we think about these? Well, I reckon, first of all, Oblivion won't be going anywhere, in my opinion. I mean, just look at it. It's a beautiful ride. But I don't think Oblivion is going to go anywhere. I mean, what on earth could you put in its place? I mean, you could replace that vertical drop with a vertical shot tower, couldn't you? You could just have it all the way down there, the station, then it pings all the way up. 60 foot out the ground. What an exhilarating experience. And either way, I don't think they're going to remove it because that drop is like nothing else. Where else are you seeing a massive 180 foot drop underground. Why would you remove it? I'm pretty certain of Oblivion not being removed, but I think we will see a refurbishment of it in the near future with new trains and possibly a retrack if it goes well for Nemesis. But that's a very good point. As said, if Nemesis does go really well and they decide to reopen it and it is a big success, which I'm sure it will be, if that goes well, why not do it to the second oldest in the park once you've done the oldest, if you forget about Runaway Mine Train. But a retracking or extension would actually be quite cool. Although I don't know whether that would happen or not, but you never know. It's time to move on to the funny haha <laughs> ride. The Smiler. Now, the Smiler is obviously very new compared to Oblivion because, well, Oblivion will at some point turn 30 years old, as they all will at some point in their lifetime. What does that even mean? For me personally, I can't see this getting removed anytime soon. Although, if we lived in a world where uh, Alton Towers had unlimited money, I could definitely see them retracking certain parts of the ride to make it last longer. Especially the bit everyone and their nan complains about, even the pigeon outside complain about it. Give it a little towers loving care, give it some paint, give it some just, I don't know, take that strobe effect out of the indoor queue. And I think it's easily gonna stay. 
easily. Let's sidetrack quickly to Katanga Canyon where we have the runaway mine train. Now not only is this the oldest coaster in the park, but it currently has no carriages on the back of the front car. And I reckon at some point or another, this could be replaced by a newer generation family coaster. It could follow a sort of similar route to the Rapids maybe, or even just sort of stay where it is and just have more elements. I don't know, but either way, it would be very cool to see something new there. Let's head over to Spimble Wizard next to X Sector. And referring back to the poll I did, this was one of the three rides that I actually put on the poll as a separate entity, because one said other. And I put Oblivion's photo on it, and I don't even think Oblivion's getting removed. And this is where I'm going to reveal some of the first results from this poll. Are you ready? Oh, drum roll, drum roll, I'm drumming. 60% of people said Spimble Wizard would be removed first. Out of 6,000 voters currently, that's a lot of people. Spimble Wizard covers Spimble a lot Wizard of things. Okay, yeah, there was a lot of opinions about this one. And I completely agree with the fact that Spimble Wizard does take up a lot of land and it's the only place they could really expand CBB's land into and stuff. But I would agree, had Spimble Wizard not just got a brand new computer system worth hundreds of thousands of pounds. I mean, it really depends on the time scale we look at. Because if we talk in the next 10 years, then sure, it could get removed. It could be flattened, but I just can't see it being removed in the next five years or so. Because you wouldn't spend hundreds of thousands on a brand new computer system for the ride just to remove it a year later or something surely and also as much as the capacity is tragic a lot of people do love it and ride it a lot for what it is i still can't believe you can see dr eggman on top of the pinball theme but as you guys did say cbb's land is right next door and that's the only way they're gonna really have a lot of land to expand into so it's definitely plausible if spinball does end up as cbb's land space please give us justin's house pyomatic factory xl I beg. But that massive area could definitely be used for multiple small flat rides or even a bigger kiddie coaster. Bigger than Octonauts, but not as big as the Wicker Man. Who knows though? There's two more rides that I think are going to get removed, maybe even before Spimble Wizard. So uh, this is about to get very interesting. One of these coasters I have spoken about lots and lots and lots in the past, and that is Rita in the Dark Forest or the Intamin Forest. This was never a secret weapon roller coaster and it didn't actually break any world records when it opened. So why is it there? You tell me. It has a punchy launch, a whippy layout, and that's about it. With it being this Marmite coaster that some people love and some people hate. I hate it. I'm joking, it's all right. How long does it have left? Well, back to the poll results. 30% of people reckon it's on the chopping block next, including me. Maybe. There's an interesting point here, you see. Cable launches across the world have been going down and most launch types have been converted. However, it'd be cheaper for Alton Towers to do this and smoothen the track as well after the launch. So with the dying breed of hydraulic launch coasters, could we see Rita 2 with a 400 foot spike like Top Thrill 2's having? Oh, you never know. Just a shame about the tree line and the fact Rita doesn't even go half the speed of Top Thrill Dragster. But if they had the money to, why can't they rip out the entirety of Rita and put some brand new launch coaster back in. That massive footprint, including some of the bits that they haven't really used for Rita, like sort of back out the way of Dark Forest. You never know, it could be Cross Valley in the end. All of that space could be made useful through the likes of something like Taron or even Tiger at Lin and Mackie. I just think a new generation Intamin roller coaster launched would be amazing for Towers and I would genuinely love to see it. The final coaster we have left Galactica. Now don't get me wrong, I absolutely love this ride. It was the first ever thrill coaster I did, if you don't count Big Dipper at Blackpool Pleasure Beach, but I don't really count that as a thrill coaster. And a few years back, and even now I guess, I do sit here and pray every night that it doesn't get removed. But in recent years, it just hasn't had the greatest time and it's just looking really tired now. Especially when you've got Nemesis right next to it being completely redone with a brand new repaint and, well, brand new track, let alone. And then with all the theming that's supposedly going to go towards it and make it such a better experience, Imagine walking into Forbidden Valley and seeing that and be like, wow, what a ride. And then seeing Galactica. It just, it, no, it just looks dead. And 6% of people voted that on the poll, but I think I might be with that 6%. I'm sorry, Air and Galactica lovers. I guess I'm sorry to myself then. But yeah, especially this year, the ride's operations have been <laughs> slow. And from what I've heard, again, Pigeon Outside told me, take it with a pinch of salt. One of the trains genuinely can't run on it because it is that messed up. I just think the ride colouring, the ride hardware, and obviously the station building as well, all looks just very worn, and it looks like its days 
might be coming to an end. I mean, I wish they just demolished it and replaced it with a clone of Fly at Phantasialand. That'd be beautiful, but that's in an ideal world. I think we could see Galactica get removed because the family thrill market is expanding, and so it'll be replaced with something with a lower height restriction. You know what? That's also a very good point. I think Galactica will go because there's never been a time where it doesn't break in some way. Every time I go, it seems to break down every few hours or so. There you go. Not only are the operations not great, neither is the reliability. Make sure you keep an eye out on that community tab for more polls where I'm going to get you guys involved in some more videos because I'm tempted to do this, but for Thought Park soon. So keep an eye out. And of course, remember to subscribe. Good morning.